what, what the haters talking about. What's up, family? Under Donald Trump's half ass leadership, most Americans, 80%, believe that a major conflict will erupt within the next four years. War under Donald Trump, a Donald Trump presidency, is more than likely most U.S. citizens believe. In fact, around the world, people really believe that. But they took a poll in the U.S. and 80% of U.S. citizens feel that we are on the brink of World War III. The National Security Poll conducted by NBC News and Survey Monkey has increased 10 points since the last time the poll was conducted back in February. Although most Americans view North Korea as the biggest national security threat, 41% of Americans included in the survey thought that the Pariah State was the greatest immediate threat to the U.S. Citizens were still concerned with rising U.S. tensions with the Islamic State militant group, 28%, and Russia, 18%. A growing number of Americans across all political lines saw North Korea as the most urgent threat against the U.S. 45% of Republicans and those considered Republican leaners saw North Korea as the greatest immediate threat in the U.S. Followed by 42% of Democrats and Democratic leaders and 39% of independents. Most Americans, 59%, would prefer the government to employ diplomacy as opposed to taking military measures toward North Korea. However, 76% of Democrats and Democratic leaners were in favor of a diplomatic approach to North Korea, while 65% of the independents said they preferred diplomacy instead of military action. Most Republicans and Republican leaners, 56%, thought that the U.S. should use military force against North Korea threats. The poll hints at growing fears over U.S. war emerging under the current administration. About three in every five people, or 59%, said they currently feel less safe in regards to North Korea threats compared with how they felt when President Barack Obama was in office a year ago. So, this dude, Donald Trump, let me, let me, let me back up a little bit. Republican leaners and Democratic leaners, they got new words and things they're throwing around now. What the hell is that? Leaners. Man, you either, you either this or you that, or you in the middle, or you none of it. All this Republican leaners, they're always trying to come up with a new little fly word every now and then. Leaners. I'm going to tell you like this. America's, Americans worry about war under every president. That's going to be like that anytime you promote policies that affect the international community. It's going to be like that. So that threat of war in and of itself should not shock anybody. What's revealing is that it's Donald Trump, and he don't know what the hell he's doing. And what he's doing over there playing with fire with North Korea could spark a World War III. Not just a war, but World War III. Because there's no way China is going to let the United States go over there and harm North Korea without them running interference without them doing something because North Korea is kind of like the brother who is a little wild and out of control and he do dope and you got the older brother who is more refined 
more uh, politically astute, more diplomatic, more di diplomatic, and uh, is more respected. He has that older brother has to look out for him. It's like, man, you know that North Korea, you know, China's like, yeah, you man, you know, North Korea, that's my little brother, man. He crazy and everything, man. I, he get on my nerves sometimes, but that's still my brother. If somebody mess with him, I'm going to war. That's the way it is. So there ain't no way that China is going to allow America to just roll on North Korea. Another thing is this. North Korea is a buffer. North Korea serves as a buffer between uh, China and the United States. See, they use North Korea to, to do their little dirty work, all the little things that they, don't, that they really want to do, but North Korea kind of, I mean, China kind of throw rocks and hide their hands and kind of just let, sit back and let North Korea, you know, be the bad guy. So they kind of like play good guy, bad cop in that region. So no way possible. All these people sitting back, some of these, these bloodthirsty people that are sitting back saying, go to war, get them, get them, get them, sick them, sick them, sick them. These fools, most of these fools ain't finna fight for nothing. Not one, they not gonna fight. Tr ain't none of Trump's ugly ass kids are gonna be out there fighting. None of them are gonna fight. All the people that scream and go to war the loudest are the ones who are least likely to actually pick up a gun or even throw a rock and hit somebody. America was moving forward at one point. It was kind of making progress. You felt some type of hope. You felt like we were kind of going forward for a minute. And then Barack Obama got elected and it wasn't because of his policies or his lack of effort. It was because it was because of the GOP stonewalling and purposely sabotaging his presidency, purposely throwing America under the bus and striking down every single policy that Barack Obama wanted to enact. They really did sabotage America for eight years and now they're going for eight more years. In fact, they're going for even more years than that because this could stretch out longer than, you know, the things that he do today could have lingering effects. I'm talking 40, 50 years if he's to get away with it. Not only Americans, do American people think that we could be on the verge of World War III, but the international community feels the same way. People are shaking in their boots. This, see, a lot of people in America, all they know is what's going on in America. Many of them don't even know what's going on outside, you know, uh, around, outside of their, their neighborhood or their city or their state. They, but they, all they know is what's going on in America. They don't even talk. They don't even communicate with people outside of America. They don't even watch news programs that are readily available on their uh, television stations and on the Internet. You can just go on the Internet and watch news outside of the U.S. and get you a different perspective, get a, get a more objective viewpoint. But all American, many Americans watch is CNN and Fox and MSNBC. That's all they watch. They don't even care to research. They don't even know it's another world out there. If they came in touch with a foreigner, they may think there was an illegal alien. That's why some of these politicians fix their mouth to call uh, people that come from Mexico illegal aliens. Because <laughs> many people in America don't travel. These uh, Trump tards, Y'all make sure that since y'all screaming the loudest about war, y'all make sure that y'all are the first ones on that front line and you busting. Make sure that you're the ones out there busting. I don't want to hear your complaints about, oh, they're killing my babies. 
Oh, they got me in an unjust war. Oh, Donald Trump, we need to get rid of him. He's the worst president ever. Oh, the Koreans are chopping off heads like Al-Qaeda. We need to get out of here. Why are we here? We said we had no business here. It's an unjust war. We need to end the war. We've spent $20 trillion on an unjust war. I don't want to hear none of that. When they go down, I don't want to hear none of that. Y'all hold your head. Trump, fight on. Troop on. Keep it going. All of this, uh, I don't want to, I would go to war. That's how some of them, was. Some of them a lot of them are cowards. But, you know, because they got that gang type mentality. They're not going to do anything unless they got a gang behind them or they know a sh the sheriff or they got connections and they think they can do something and get away with it. But they're not going to bring it to the real. They roll on the cowards. So I don't want to hear nothing about when they kick off how you don't want to serve next to homosexuals or transgenders or Christians or Muslims. It's America. I don't want to hear none of that. Just go over there and get your, take your ass over there and fight. Since the Republicans want the war, send all Republicans over there to fight. Don't send nobody else. Just send the Republicans. And since y'all, and if y'all can make it on your own, if the Republicans can go over there and fight World War III all on their own and win, then hey man, have that America. You got it. You deserve it. But if you're gonna try to use the independents and Democrats and the ones who don't identify as either, then your ass got to share the power. You can't have it both ways. But see, that's y'all. Y'all think y'all slick. Y'all think y'all gonna crank it up. Yeah, y'all gonna go, go get him, 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 get him. Then when it go down, then when America, if, if America can emerge victorious, then. You want to take all the credit and not only just take the credit, but reap all the benefits. But we've seen how this played out before. We've seen this in Civil War. We've seen it in World War I. We've seen it in World War II. It ain't going to happen again like that. I can guarantee you that. So if you want a war, go over there and fight. All the Republicans that are screaming that they want a war, Go fight your war. Go on over there. Have at it. In fact, I salute you. Do your thing. Donald Trump is the fruit of decades of successful global elitist pushing buttons and creating ill will toward America. He is everything that's wrong with America. He is the worst of what, he is the old America. He is the old America. And he is the worst. He's everything that's wrong with America. And if, Mer if America crumbles, it would be him. It would be because of him. And it would be at the behest of people like him. They will be the reason that America crumbles. They will be the reason that America loses its stature in the rest of the world. They will be the reason why America will not even be considered a power, a power company. I mean, a power, well, I, you know what, I meant to say country, but I kind of got it right. It is kind of like a corporation. They do kind of run it like a corporation. So, yeah, it would be people like him. Trump is, is, is a tool, his He's a tool for the global elitist. His, his followers 
they're, they're brainwashed by reality TV. And they, he got them believing that he's some type of financial wizard instead of a trust fund baby who got everything that he have from his daddy and his family connections. World War III, will it happen? I don't think it's a question of will it happen. The question is when? No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah. Order, Texas.